Yo, everybody, welcome to episode 2 of Manchester United Career Mode. Um, so far, as you can see, we are currently second, but. Never mind, Tom. But the reason behind that is because we are still a game in hand against Southampton, who drew. So, uh, last time we signed a couple of players. Uh, let me put them on now because this is a. Uh, must kind of swapped out team a bit. So this is current team. We've signed Timo Werner and Herving Lozano. It would have been Jaden Sancho, but he rejected our offer. So he's not going to United for this season, or until January at least, if we put our cards right. Sorry for the squeaky chair, it's been recorded on the same day. <coughs> so, our first game is against Newcastle United, who, if you have a look here, beat West Ham United and... Burnley. <coughs> so hopefully we shall have a good game against them, so let's get right into it. This is their team for the game. Uh, St. Maximan and Callum Wilson line up in the front. With Almiron, Rakic and Shelby in the midfield. Richie, Marcellis, Shaw, Clark, Mankio and Dubravka. Okay team, do I think they're going to score past us? No. So let's get right into the matchup at St. James Park. Alright, here we go. Paul Pogba. Linked with a Barcelona move. Okay. We'll keep that in mind. But here we are at St. James Park, the Newcastle United Stadium, for today's game. Obviously the great Alan Shearer, the all-time Premier League top goal scorer, former Newcastle player. So, Very difficult game ahead, especially with five at the back. It was difficult for people like Bruno Fernandes and Timo Werner, heck, even Marcus Rashford, to try and get through. They have a good, they have a good bench as well. Joseph Willock and Dwight Gale. <sighs> Very noticeable ones there who could come on the pitch. But here's our team. As we have David De Gea starting in goal with Aramon Bissaka, Milan Skrinar, Harry Maguire and Alex Tellers in the defence. Donny Van de Beek and Paul Pogba line up in the midfield with Herbie Lozano, Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Rashford. And then Timo Werner as the sole striker today. We also have some really great options on the um, bench. So let's get right into today's game before, before I do that. Let's turn this down. Here we go, as the game starts, Callum Wilson gets it underway. <clears throat> oh, Popper <clears throat> tries to get past. Oh, the St. Maximan. We get the ball, but it's a free kick. Popper just get a talking to. As the hair is dropped to the vent, the wall here. Matt Ritchie lining up to take the free kick. Oh, 
and Mist by Matt Ritchie. Back to her because I remember sacrifice Herbie Lozano. As Herbie gets past Matt Ritchie here, he's down the side. He has a couple of options in the box, but the sellers blocks it. My I could still have a chance here to get a goal. Carl Wilson gets past Milan Skrinar. But St. Maximan gets past and he misses. Worldly attempt there by Alan St. Maximan. But misses by a fair distance. Tellers for Rashford. Rashford to Tellers. And to Bruno Fernandes. Who's got. Oh, he's trying to get Werner the ball, but no cigar. Aaron Wambisaka regains the ball. Gets it back to Maguire, and then Van der Beek to Bruno Fernandes. Fernandes. Too used to. <coughs> Lee, what don't Ray Lee Dixon say? Fernandes. Oh, chipped over, but. Not going to get before Donny van der Beek. Pogba obtains a the ball there to Bruno Fernandes. Oh, give a murder to Donny van der Beek. And he gets the ball taken off him. Oh, Miron. Get heavily defended there. Arawamba Saka. Out of position by a big margin, but Milan Skriniar gets the ball. And Herbie Lozano going on the run here. And he gets past Almiron. Into the box. Timo Werner heads it, but no power on the header. Close, but no treasure. Hold on a second. There we go, Dubravka. Kicks it field, trying to get to Arlen St. Maximan, but he's dropped by Harry Maguire. Timo Werner gets it to Herbie Lozano. Ver oh, Pogba! Damn it. And it's a corner kick for the man, the men in red here. In their post. Oh, Matt Ritchie heads it out as Bruno Fernandez takes the ball. Milan Skrinar to Herbie Lozano. Oh, Dubravka saves it. Carl Wilson tries to get the ball, but can't get past Don Donny van der Beek. As Timo Werner tries to head it, but nothing there. Tough game so far, goalless. My United's tactic of swarming them at the start did not work. Oh, Popper gets the ball, passes it incorrectly there. Donny van der Beek, sorry, van der Beek takes the ball. Almiron has the ball now. Wambasaka gets it off him. Alex Tellez just rushes past. His marker, his marks, man. Timo Werner in clear air. Can he score? 1 0 by United. Timo Werner scores. Beautiful pass to Timo Werner in open air. Composing himself, shoots and scores and gets it in the back of the net. 1 0 Manchester United. See, Bruno Fernandes sees the opening and Timo Werner just whacks it bottom right corner. Will Newcastle come back? We do not know, but so far, 1-0 to Manchester United.
Oh, Rashford gets the ball. Oh, Jojo Selvi. Oh, Pogba just absolutely floors the centre back. Oh, Pogba gets the ball. He's got it's Timo Werner who's going to shoot and gets in the top right corner for 2 0. Timo Werner executes it again. Paul Pogba takes advantage of the mistake that Mankio made. Gets it to Timo Werner who was in between two defenders and scores it top left corner. Four goals in the Premier League now for Timo Werner. Two scored in this game. Can he get a hat trick? Oh, Pogba again gets the ball off the midfield. Pogba played an absolute ball of a game today. Oh, Alex Tellers takes the ball off of Mankio, who's having a poor game. Oh, Herbert Lozano, can he get the ball? No. Armbron gets it to Carl Wilson, who gets it to Alan Saint Maximan. He has an option in John Joe Selvin, but Harry Maguire takes the ball off him. Oh, Rashford to Timo Werner. Werner chips it over to Bruno Fernandes. Fernandes heads it, but Dubravka saves it. Matt Ritchie. Half time. 2-0 to Man United in the first half. Another brilliant display by the attacking force. Now I'm going to make a couple of changes here. Herbie Lozano has been a bit lackluster so far this game, but Mason Greenwood will come on and try and win back the way on the right side. Uh. And Eric Bailly to come on for Harry Maguire. There we go. Mason Greenwood already has the ball. Oh, we get past Richie here. And he puts out for a throw in, you idiot. Matt Richie gets it past Greenwood to Amiron. Amiron turns it back to Richie, and Wambasaka gets the ball out for a throw in. Richie runs it down the side there, gets it back to Jojo, well to Rakic. Oh, offside for Matt Ritchie. That was a really good chance to get a goal, but he wasted it there with an offside play. That would have been a really good ball if he stayed on side, but nothing came by it. Oh, to Bruno Fernandes. Edison, Edison Cavani confirmed to go to Barcelona for about £30 million. Pounds. Obviously, my plans on the striking force changed mid episode. I wanted to have Cavani in, but unfortunately, it felt right <coughs> to sell him as we needed a long term striker. Timo Werner filled that spot. It would have been Lewandowski or Hurricane, but <coughs> we just didn't have the money for him. As Timo Werner finds a way in, can he shoot? And he misses! He has the chance, but does not execute it. Close to the post. But nothing came by it there. Van der Beek gets the ball. Greenwood tries to get it up, but Matt Ritchie just floors him. Callum Wilson. Tries to get the ball down the side, but no luck as Donny van der Beek gets it past him. Lasalles stops Greenwood, but Greenwood does not stop from getting the ball. Bruno Fernandes curls it, and Dubravka saves it. The goalkeeper. Oh, can they get it out? Callum Wilson fails to get the ball past the midfield. Bruno Fernandes. Nothing came by that shot. Poor, poor attempt. 
Bruno Fernandes we expect better let's pour me out some whiskey we go get it some coke here we go Matt Ritchie finally taken off after a really good game to be honest he's replaced by Paul Dummett oh here we go Bruno Fernandes gets it oh Timo Werner gets round gets round shoots oh misses Bruno Fernandes off the bar oh my god that was so unlucky I'm going to record that unlucky there by both Timo Werner and Bruno Fernandes Paul Pogba gets the ball from throwing Bruno Fernandes oh Timo Werner turns shoots oh misses the defend the defence from Newcastle have been exceptional today but nothing let's come by it Paul Dummett is offside oh Bruno Fernandes gets it down to Timo Werner who oh slips it past sees Bruno Fernandes goes for it oh Kieran Clark gets it though oh Paul Pogba no Donny van der Beek gets it in 3-0 another goal by the Dutchman Donny van der Beek composing it puts it bomb corner I think it was anyways no it was top corner the deflection off the goal of the uh, defender van der Beek takes advantage and scores United 3-0 again oh Alan takes back to man. Try to get past. Oh. Oh, Pogba. Floors him. Gets it past. Bruno Fernandes gets the ball. Timo Werner on the run. Composes it. Puts it down. Shoots. 4 0. This is just a mauling of the Newcastle midfield. As they cannot keep the ball for long, as we see Timo Werner compose himself, gets it past the keeper. 4 0, bottom right corner. Manchester United are on a roll now. And we just hear around the stadium the Manchester United fans at large. Oh, Timo Werner gets it to Mason Greenwood. Can he get to it? Kieran Clark just whacks it out for a throw in. There we go, Rakic comes off now. But Hendrick. One sucker gets it to Greenwood. Greenwood. Gonna turn his man. Almiron gets it though. Marcelo's nearly lost the ball for the team there. Oh. Marcelo's and Shaw just played it around the back. Van der Beek gets it to Bruno Fernandez. Oh. Bruno gets it to Mason Greenwood who gets it to Timo Werner. Bruno Fernandes shoots and Dubravka again. Brilliant display by the goalkeeper. Just a shame his defence is not working cohesively. Bruno Fernandes, oh just off the mark. Oh, Wambasaka and Almiron collide. Oh, I'll say it back to man. Gets it too. Tries to get it to his counterpart there, but misses. Oh, Timo Werner had a chance here. Gets it to Van der Beek, but misses. Marcellus gets the ball, gets it to Banquillo. Can Newcastle salvage a goal from this? Something to be proud of. Oh, Timo Werner gets it too. Bruno Fernandes. Back to Timo Werner. Four minutes of extra time. Timo Werner shoots and it's a corner. A corner for United. 
what could be done from this position. Oh, puts it out to Greenwood here. Greenwood heads it down, composes himself, gets it past Greenwood! Misses, Timo Werner gets to the ball. No, Almiron gets to it before him. You, 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 the Newcastle United players who just pass it around the back and that's game over. 4-0 to Manchester United. Timo Werner by the match and his first hat-trick for Manchester United. What a game. What a match. But unfortunately my United streak continues. <laughs> I'll say it maximizes only chance at game there. Squandered. Timo Werner was on point today. Liverpool beat Burnley, Man City beat Everton. And Chelsea beat Leeds. Timo Werner, yeah, it was a pretty breathtaking performance today. It was just another example of his greatness. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, the Newcastle game was pretty much dominated. Brilliant game there. As let's have a look at some of the messages. It looks like myself, City, and Liverpool are tied for first place. And when I advanced, there was some messages here that we got. So Axel Twanza Bay has some people that can be loaned out. Mason Greenwood loaned to buy. No, Paul Pogba. Oh. No, we're not losing Greenwood, but Pogba could be something. I, th I say we delegate, don't sell the player for less than 89 million, because that's how much we bought it for, so. Uh, let's sign off for 110. We'll see how those talks advance in the next couple of days, but Alexander Golovin, his report comes in, and he's a bit poor. Philippe Coutinho? He needs a regeneration of his career, right? Eh? 85 million relief clause for that man. We don't need him, so. But if Barcelona agree to some of the terms that we've put out, could this be the goodbye of Paul Pogba? Will he no longer be a Man United player? If so, I think we need to look at some centre mids, which we'll show you in a second. So, these are some of the options I've caught with. Uh, we've got Kevin De Bruyne, we've got Ruben Neves, we've got Yuli Tielemans, we've got Arthur, and we've got Sergei Milinkovic Savic. And out of all these, I would pretty much prefer either Tielemans, actually all of them to be honest, would all be a good replacement for uh, Paul Pogba, but we don't know if he's actually going to be going, so let's advance to the Liverpool game, which is probably the game of the season so far, and let's get into that. Alright, so we have some messages here, we've got the uh, final reports on these. Okay. Let's have a look at some. So, they've agreed to pay 94 million for Paul Pogba. <clears throat> You know, I'm going to negotiate this. I'm going to see if I can get up to 95. That should surely be more realistic. There we go. Alright, and then we've got this deal to deal with. So, let's deal with it now, shall we? And it looks like Paul Pogba will be leaving. And we might have the money to get Kevin De Bruyne. I'm saying for him, we could do that or get a player swap in. 
going to take some of their players. Christian Pulisic. Mason Mount. But Mason Mount won't play that much. And, um, let's have a look at some cent Oh, they've got a poor centre backs, I've just realised. Uh, full backs, nothing great is there. I think we've got to look at this. The Chelsea team overall ain't that great except for midfielders. Now you know I'm going to just ask for 60 mil at the start. If they don't meet that, we will chop that then mine. Okay. Alright, how much is Kevin De Bruyne? I see. That's a problem, and I don't know why I'm going into a negotiation. Because I think I may have fucked my chance to get him now. Unless I do a cheeky little uh, swap. Well, we've got four options now. Ruben Neves has a final scout report, 82 rated. Okay. Uh, Eduardo Camavinga and Ryan Gravenberch. He could be something interesting. I'm going to keep an eye on Ryan. Um, and Rolando Mandragora, who seems to be at Piemonte Calcio, but he's on loan at Torino. So, all these three are future interests. But, today's game is more important than anything. The only three teams on nine points are Manchester United, Manchester City, and Liverpool. And today, someone's going to lose points. And I hope it's going to be Liverpool. And there's only four teams on zero points, which is Aston Villa, Sheffield United, Burnley and Leeds. Poor start for Leeds United, even though uh, they were really good. And as you see here, Timo Ver Werner's top scorer. With Raheem Sterling and Sadio Mane, Christian Pulisic and Kyle Walker-Peters, who's a right back. Follow it in close by. Let's attend this press conference. Thanks, thanks. If we can quiet down, then we can start with the questions now. Yeah, don't worry about the opposition. Um, we have a strong squad already. Alright, so. Big game feel. Big fight feel today. Actually, there, into the lineup of the two biggest stars, Martinez and Skriniar, two two of the biggest clubs in the world. But let's get into today's game. I'm not wearing that outfit. That's the way I think I might have to. They are the home team, but as you see there. I'm going to go with the strongest team for this because I don't feel like I could afford to be lazy. So let's get right into. Probably for me, the beef match at seeds are probably bigger rivals than Manchester City. My United's most infamous rival, Liverpool, is next. So here we go. <clears throat> Coming up next, the Manchester Derby at Anfield. As we see. Our players, the winners today, prepping. <clears throat> Let's hope we get a good result against Liverpool. Realistically, I don't want to drop points today. But we never know what's going to happen at Anfield. Obviously, our second, well, we only played one game at Old Trafford today. Oh, 
let's see here we have a very good goal difference at 10 so far we have not conceded this entire season yet two 3 no wins and one 4 no win this put us at a great advantage if we get into the tie you see Paul Pogba, Pogba there a man of concern right now could this be his last ever game for the men for the Red Devils as we see Liverpool's strongest lineup lining up to take here as that front three from the deadliest front three in the league but right now we have the deadliest striker in the league in Timo Werner I'm ready but I don't think you're ready let's get into the derby as here we go and it's underway with Bobby Firmino kicking off. Oh, Pogba's through for his last game against Eddie. Oh. Last game for Man United, he's wandered an opportunity like that. <sighs> At least we're getting an increase of what we bought him for, which was 89 million. Up to 95 million, so we've got a 6 million increase. I'm not even going to figure out the percentage increase because I can't be bothered, and that's not what I, what I want to do right now. I want to stop Sadio Mane from scoring, which we did. Aaron Bissaka gets it to Herving Lozano who gets it to Donny van der Beek who gets it to Bruno Fernandes who turns Van Dijk gets it to Timo Werner composes himself shoots and it's 1-0 to Man United Timo Werner his sixth goal of the season what a performance so far Bruno Fernandes turns Van Dijk chips it over to Timo Werner Werner composes it, he could have done a volley, but he didn't, he kept it down, he curled it past Allison, and it's 1-0 to the Red Devils. <sighs> the United fans here at Anfield having a blast so far. Finally, the Man United of old are coming back in a big way. Thiago being pressured by Lozano there. Timo Werner gets the ball, gets it past Joe Gomez. On the run. Here goes Timo Werner. Gets it round. Turns. Oh, that was poor from Timo Werner. That was poor, poor, poor as Mo Salah finally had the ball. Sadio Mane in the box. He has options. Salah gets the ball taken off him by Milan Skriniar. Gets it to Timo Werner, finally. Bruno Fernandes gets it to Herbie Lozano, who stops, composes, gets it. Oh, tries to get it to Pogba, but could not. Oh, here we go. Bruno Fernandes, he's through. Bruno Fernandes! Allison saves it for a corner. Oh, as we see, oh, Timo Werner gets, oh, Firmino gets the ball instead. Oh, Milan Skriniar, oh, Henderson gets the ball off him. He's on the run here, Harry Maguire putting him down. Bobby Firmino passes it back to Henderson, but he gets it off. Rashford, two, Werner, two, Lozano shoots and it's 2-0. Brilliant play by the United lads. Werner could have just ran on there, but he let Lozano have the chance. Top left corner. Lozano's first goal for Manchester United. And it's an important one. 2-0 to the Red Devils. Oh, Werner has the ball here. Bruno Fernandes, he's through, composes it, 
Heads it down, but Allison saves it. Can Verna get it in still? Verna keeps the ball. Crosses it in to the back post, but nothing comes of it. Gomez just knees it out the sky and to Alexander Arnold. Oh no, Alexander Arnold in a beautiful position here. He has options. Mo Salah, he's in, he's through, and De Gea saves it. This is an intense game between the two titans of world football. And we see them in a corner. Thiago has the ball, and Van der Beek blocks it for another corner. Passes it to Thiago again. Will Sage try to come out of it? Nope. Pogba gets it to Rashford. Rashford has an opportunity to get it out here now. Andy Robertson tries to get it, but Rashford blasts past him. Marcus Rashford, he's in. Shoots, and Allison saves it for a corner kick. Lozano gets the ball, does it? No, wait. Pogba shoots and Allison saves again. My United are mauling right now. They're taking advantage of Liverpool's just dismemberment. Oh, another header tries to go there. Heads it down. Further taken down in the box, but no penalty. Well, Squinar gets it out. But Thiago gets the ball instead. Mane passes it back to Fabinho. I see an attack coming along here as Alexander Arnold uses his outside advantage. The overlap on Mo Salah. Henderson near the box. Nothing comes of it though. Milan Squinar just a wall. Oh, Rashford blasts past Arnold and Arnold takes him down for a free kick. And see that Wilfred Saha for 43.3 million from Crystal Palace to Leon. Alex Tellers passes it to Van der Beek. Rashford gets it to Juan Masaka. Now to Tellers. Tellers in the box, crosses it in. But Joe Gomez kicks it out for another corner. And see here. Mane having a very slow day at the office. No shots at all. Another corner. Floated in. Rashford, can he get on it? And Allison saves it. Roberto Firmino gets it past the uh, tyre by United Squad 2. Sadio Mane, Mane gets blocked by Herving Lozano. And it's half time. Man United again proving their dominance. Let's see some of the results there. Arsenal Chelsea is still to play. So I'm going to make some changes here. Herving Lozano has not been the greatest. Take off the Greenwood and take off Shaw. But take off uh, Alex Tellers for Luke Shaw here. Second half is underway. Greenwood gets the ball, pass it back to Van der Beek. <laughs> now to Shaw. Well, Rashford guards the ball there, gets it past to Werner, who is tackled but no free kick. Oh, Skridar blocks that beautifully. Gets it to Bruno Fernandes. Gets it down to Timo Werner, who can shoot. Misses Fernandes, and it's in 3-0. Fernandes capitalising on Alisson being down, and scores. Let's see this again. Deflected, Bruno Fernandes was at the right place, right time. And it's Fernandes' second goal of the season.
Manchester United 3, Liverpool 0. I feel after this game, I'm going to pull up the difficulty to walk class. Oh, here we go, Mo Salah gets it to outside Ronald, who's been doing a lot of overlapping here. Aaron Maguire gets the ball down and composed. Oh, Pogba loses the ball to Thiago and loses it to Firmino, who gets blocked by Maguire. Van der Beek gets it to Bruno Fernandes, gets it to Werner. Werner chips it over to Greenwood. Beautiful ball there by Mace to get it to Mason Greenwood. Greenwood turns it round to Pogba, who cannot score today. Pogba's possibly last game of the season here. Oh, Thiago's being taken off for Fabian. It was offside as well, so. Oh, Rashford gets it to Bruno Fernandes. Werner just met by a massive wall called Virgil van Dijk, and it's out for a throw in. Oh, Van der Beek gets the ball here to Timo Werner, who gets it to Bruno Fernandes, who turns it round to Timo Werner. Timo Werner! And it's 4 0! One hour into the game, 4 0 to Manchester United. Beautiful football these men are playing. No one can stop them. Seven goals for Timo Werner this season already. Can United be stopped? As Pogba gets it to Werner. Werner chops it. Is he going to get around Gomez? Werner shoots. And Alisson deflects it for a corner. The men in red are really not performing tonight. Not today. Oh, Maguire nearly hits it out. But it's for a corner again. Fernandez pass it to Werner. Werner gets it to Greenwood. Greenwood composes himself, shoots from the outside box. Bad idea as Pogba could get it down there, but nothing comes of it. As outside Ronald gets it to Naby Keita. And Bobby Firmino gets it to Fabinho. And see Manchester United's next fixture against Everton, but. Bobby Fino's brought down, so it's a free kick. It looks like Van Dyke's been taken off. For Kabak. Oh. The last Grinar tries to put it down here. Oh, gets it to Bissaka. Greenwood to Werner. What's Werner going to do? Get it to Van der Beek. Van der Beek running with all of his might. Van der Beek! Misses! Manchester United have just mauled this Liverpool team. Naby Keita gets it to Bobby Firmino, who can get it over to Sadio Mane. Oh, Sadio Mane gets it to Bobby Firmino, but the last crowd gets past it. But Fabian can get it through, but Maguire with a beautiful tackle for a corner. Oh, into the box, Greenwood gets it out. Oh, wait, in the box. Rashford, can, can he get it out? No, Fabian gets it to Joe Gomez. And to Robertson. Looks like the opportunity may have passed, but Mo Salah. It's Fabian, there could be a cross into the box here. And there is, but Maguire clears it. Tried to get it to Greenwood, but nothing comes of it. Mo Salah in the box, and it's 4-1. Beautiful goal there by Mohamed Salah. Mo Salah brings it down and scores past David De Gea who tried to come out and stop it. But nothing came of it. United's first goal scored past them this season.
Four one. Right, let's get it to Greenwood here. Liverpool finally have something to cheer about, being the first team to score past United this season. Oh, Rashford tries to get past Arnold, but Arnold just blocking the ball. Oh, what's this? Beautiful play to Mane. What can Bissaka do to hold off Mane here? And he does. He holds it, and he gets it past. Oh, to Greenwood here. Can Greenwood send it off to Werner? And he can. And to Bruno Fernandes, who's got space. Gets it to Pogba. Pogba scores. 5-1. Manchester United score their fifth goal of the game. Beautiful. Bruno Fernandes could have scored that easily, but he decided not to. We get to Pogba for potentially his last game. Oh, that was midfielder. Gets it to Salah. This has got to be an embarrassing game for the Liverpool team. May have salvaged the goal, but they're not going to salvage anything else. That's Pogba. Pass it to Salah, so it's a goal kick. As you see here, look at that, three assists for Bruno Fernandes so far, Bruno has been exceptional this season, in the first four, oh no, Eric Bailly, as soon as he comes on he makes a mistake, Salah, trying to get it in, but Skrinar, with a brilliant, brilliant tackle, oh, Mo Salah gets it again, gets deflected, Greenwood, He's now on the run, but Kabak gets rid of it. To Werner, Werner's open air, it's only Andy Robertson in his way, but here's Greenwood, out of nowhere, and it's Greenwood for 6-1. Greenwood last minute scores against Liverpool. Mason Greenwood. Scores. Six one Manchester United. That got me the game and it is. Jurgen Klopp has got to be fuming right now. The front four of Manchester United is too strong. Werner, Fernandez, Rashford and Lozano or Greenwood are too good in the Prem. But I think it's time to probably put it up a level to world class. Werner was amazing. The team is amazing. The team is amazing. What a result. 6-1 against Liverpool. Let's put it up to world class then. AC here. Nothing changed. It's all the same. Same over here. Nothing. But what a game that was. The intensity. And there is a transfer offer for Nemanja Matic. 10 million from Tottenham Hotspurs. And I think I'll have to take that offer. Looks like Pogba could be out on his way out here. We'll see when we get to the next game, which. Actually, no, wait. We'll see in the transfer window. Rashford has a transfer offer. I'm not selling Rashford to Ajax of all people. Rashford stayed, he's just a he's a figurehead of Man United, okay? Hopefully Paul Pogba's deal can be done soon. Let's have a look at some of the uh, signings. Chelsea have signed 
Pat Boa, Moreno and Troll, but they've sold Callum Hudson and Doy and Timo Werner. Matic sold and Paul Pogba sold. So, that being said, which of these people are we going to go after? We can't go after Kevin De Bruyne anymore. But who are we going to go after? Hmm. He can play centre mid and CDM. He can play any. 7607. I'm thinking I might go for either Telemans or Milinkovic Savage. I'm going to go for Telemans. Right now, maybe we're straight at the pop up, but he has the potential to grow. So let's offer 60 million at the start. Okay, fair offer. Nice. And then also, we can get in one of the uh, young youth centre bits as well. Maybe have a look on free agents list. So let's get talking to Yuri T. Elements, who's going to be a crucial role. Nice. Uh, I'm going to say. 20, well, five year contract will be a very good contract for him uh, and also because I know how big he's going to be at the end of five years I'm going to go 1.75 never mind let's just deny the release clause altogether alright so let's have him at a 99 <laughs> Wage and 200,000 as a signing bonus. Yep, and we have Yuri T. Element in the team. Uh, we'll get rid of you. Uh, you. To be fair, we could have gotten one of these two, but I don't think we need a striker for a couple of years now. But welcome to the team. Someone who deserves it, to be honest, in this team. Yuri T. Elements. I'm at Diallo could come up here. Wait, I've already got three for this, I'm at. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's go with. No, let's keep front of that. Alright. Very good team so far. We do have another game ahead, we'll skip to that. But before we do, we still need to make. We still need to do some stuff. Alright, let's have a look at. Oh, wait, I can just go to the office. Let's look here. For it, where is it? There we are. Draven Birch or Karmavinga. I'm going to go for Graven Birch. No, let's just. I'm going to offer him 25 mil. Don't take it, that's fair enough. Probably off of 26. I ain't going above 30 for him, so let's go. 20. Yeah, let's start off with his actual price 22 million. They want Greenwood and a million. Nope. Alright, 25 now. Okay. 25 million for Ryan Gravenberg. Young, 18 years old. High rated as well for an 18 year old. 77 rated. Uh, yep, sporadic role, that's what I'm waiting for. Uh, five years. This is me signing youth players. Uh, disregard the release clause, and then I'm going to give him 30,000. There we go. <laughs> Ryan Graver Birch, welcome to Manchester United as a youth player. Well, not youth, just as a developmental player. I think he can really get some benefits out of playing this team. 
he's not going to start the games, but he's going to be one of the. Uh, he's going to replace Fred. Fred's going to be the third option now. So Ryan Graven Birch can play centre mid to CDM. Eighteen years old. I'm excited to see this kid play. We'll play one more match against. Actually, we'll end it on the transfer window. And it's done. But that's a lot of business done. But we have spent more money than we have. We still have 50 mil left in the bank, but. I don't see anyone that we need to sign. So, all right, Eric buying on a two-year loan deal. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Spurs have signed Kimpembe, Lengler, Bisrovic, and Matic. But they have lost Lamella, Alderweireld, and Aurier. West Ham has signed Kanji, Lamkel, and Dada. Have lost Lanzini and Johnson. That is a big, big risk. Newcastle haven't lost any players, but they've gained five. Well, let's quickly have a look in the. Uh, Not on the transfer hub, the free agents list. Cause I know there's some really strong players in there that could grow and develop. I mean, I found Blubbin. What's his name? Alexandro here, so. We could find some good players. Ooh, okay, send that back. We'll have Hegarty. I'm looking at one. Okay. No. 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 Goalkeeper now. And no. Maybe I need to wait for later seasons to find a uh, good player. But for now, I'm going to change some of these squad numbers up. First up, can you keep the numbers as they are for defence? Except we are going to give this man the number 3 shirt. No, the number 4 shirt. Uh, Rashford could keep 10, Yuri, I'm not going to let him have 7, I'm going to let him have 8, and then we're going to have Graven Birch's number as 14, Bruno could keep his number, and keep theirs, he could have number 11, no that's Greenwood's. Okay. I don't want to give you number seven. I don't feel like he deserves number seven. Oh, not team management, you fucking melon. I'm going to give team of Verna number nine. He suits the number nine. We don't have number seven, so I'm going to give that actually. To yeah, I'm gonna have to give it to Herbert Lozano. Let's see the rest of the transfer window out. Two offers, okay. Harry Maguire to Man City, no. 
unless, unless they give us Ruben Diaz. If they give us Ruben Diaz, look, oh, think, oh, think about it. I'm oh, not full bucks. How's that for you? No. You know what I'm going to do, actually, though? See, I have the money for it. Milan Scrinata and Ruben Diaz at the back. Seems like a really good idea. So, I'm going to do it. <laughs> yes, I am going to be uh, swapping... Okay, I could offer 40 mil and then Maguire, maybe. We'll see how that goes. So, 40 and, no, uh, Maguire. How's that look? 88! Fifty mil at least. I was like you're gonna fucking dry me out, you little fucking muppets. No. I'm gonna keep it at fifty. Alright, let's play ball, shall we? Fine. 51 mil and Harry Maguire. For Ruben fucking Diaz. Do I want to do this? Yes. Because <laughs> then it makes Man City lose their biggest prize possession. Behind Phil Foden. So, crucial. Uh, five years? Yep. Of course, not release clause, of course. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna kinda of risk my money there, mate. There we go, Ruben Diaz. Welcome to Manchester United. So I think our team's pretty good. To be honest, I feel like that's all the money we need to use, like for rest of career mode. Besides from Lozano, we'll probably need to get rid of him soon. But I want to wait until Greenwood kind of gets better. So, yeah, we've spent all the money we need to now. So, let's see what this message is about. Let's see what objective I completed. Sign free, with free season, sign four of the best players in the world. Done. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen next. Uh, hopefully, yeah. And now, I'm kind of helping City out because now they don't need to go out and buy a player. I mean, they rinsed me of 50 mil and Harry Maguire for him. So, let's read what they're saying about it. Alright, so Ryan Graver Birch. Yeah, I think we've made some really good progress with the money that we've had. So, with that being said, the next time you'll see me, it'll be a. Uh, we'll be. We would be playing a. Uh, on World Class. And. And uh, you can go. The transfer window's closed. That is it for today, guys. Um, that's the team that we've got. <laughs> Honestly, that is a mad team.
we're, we're, we're winning the league with that. I don't know how the hell I've got these players. Chelmans, Diaz, Guignar, Werner, Lozano. Five first player signings without forgetting Ryan Raven Birch. You see what I mean? One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all take care. And um, from your boy Shadowhunter, who's now covered free. Peace.